Hello, friends. How are you all? Hope everything is good with you. Love you, Ashraf here. So, for today's video, we'll share with you guys this amazing cultural cities around the world, part three. And hope you like it. So, we will travel to New York, Tokyo, Vienna, Istanbul, and Shanghai. New York, shining with the Empire State of Mind. The Dutch first settled along the Hudson River in 1624. Two years later, they established the colony of New Amsterdam on Manhattan Island. In 1664, the English took control of the area and renamed it New York. One of the original 13 colonies, New York played a crucial political and strategic role during the American Revolution. Between 1892 and 1954, millions of immigrants arrived in New York Harbor and passed through Ellis Island on the journey to becoming U.S. citizens. It is estimated that up to 40% of Americans can trace at least one ancestor to that port of entry. New York City, the largest city in the state, is home to the New York Stock Exchange and is a major international economic center. New York City was the first capital of the United States after the Constitution was ratified in 1788. On April 30, 1789, George Washington was inaugurated as the nation's first president at Federal Hall, located on Wall Street. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from the people of France in honor of the United States and during dedication to freedom and democracy and of the alliance held between the two countries during the American Revolution. Erected in 1886 on Bedloe's Island, later renamed Liberty Island, in New York Harbor, the statue stood as a welcoming symbol to the 14 million immigrants who entered the United States through New York until 1924. Adirondack Park in northeastern New York contains roughly 6 million acres of protected land. Comprised of both public and private areas, the park is larger than Yellowstone, Glacier, Everglades and Grand Canyon National Parks combined. New York City contains roughly 660 miles of subway track connecting 468 subway stations, the lowest of which is located 180 feet below street level. In 2011, more than 1.6 billion people rode the subway. Comprised of three waterfalls on United States and Canadian territory, Niagara Falls attracts 12 million visitors each year. The American Falls in New York are nearly 180 feet high and 1,100 feet long. The Niagara River produces enough hydroelectric power to supply more than a quarter of all power used in the state of New York and Ontario. The National Baseball Hall of Fame is located in Cooperstown, New York. After the towns of Woodstock and Wallkill refused permission to host what ultimately became the country's most renowned music festival, a dairy farmer in nearby Battle agreed to provide access to his land for three days of peace and music. With musical acts kicking off on August 15, 1969, the Woodstock Music Festival attracted more than 400,000 attendees, most of whom were admitted for free since the organizers of the event were unprepared to control access for such a large crowd. A little over 8 million people live in New York City. That means one in every 38 people in the United States call the city home. 
More than 800 languages are spoken in New York City, making it the most linguistically diverse city in the world. Four in ten households speak a language other than English. Oysters were so popular in New York City in the 19th century that the shells were used to pave Pearl Street. They were also used for lime for the masonry of the Trinity Church. New York City's Federal Reserve Bank has the largest gold storage in the world. The vault is 80 feet below street level and contains $90 billion in gold. Tokyo The site of Tokyo has been inhabited since ancient times. The small fishing village of Edo existed there for centuries. Edo's development into a city did not occur until the Tokugawa period, 1603 to 1867, when it became the capital of the Tokugawa shogunate. During this period, however, the imperial family remained in Kyoto, the ancient imperial capital. With the Meiji Restoration of 1868, which ended the shogunate, the capital was moved to Edo. The city was renamed Tokyo, meaning Eastern Capital. Edo had been Japan's largest city since the 17th century. Tokyo's population exceeded 1 million in the late 19th century, and as Japan's political, economic, and cultural center, it became one of the world's most populous cities in the 20th century. The city is built on low, alluvial plains and adjacent upland hills. The climate is mild in winter and hot and humid in the summer. Early summer and early autumn are rainy seasons. Two or three typhoons usually occur during September and October. Vienna, a city that breeds music in and out. As the capital of Austria, Vienna is known for a rich history that goes all the way back to the first post-Christian century in which the Romans set up camp in Vin de Bona. In fact, Vienna has two very impressive and well-earned nicknames, the City of Music and the City of Dreams, as home to some of classical music's most incredible composers and the home to Sigmund Freud. Vienna surely has earned the right to go by those two names. In the mid-1200s, Vienna became one of the most beloved cities in the Holy Roman Empire. What was rather embarrassing for Vienna though was that they didn't even have their own bishop. Desperate for a bishop of their own, Vienna negotiated to get their own bishop and was eventually given one in 1469. In 1953, Vienna held a design competition for the Vienna Museum. A total of 80 contestants took part in the competition. And even though Oswald Herald took fourth place, he was actually the one contracted to design the museum. Sometimes, fourth place is good enough. Good enough to steal the gold away from the real winner. Istanbul, a city that brings ancient relics back to life. First inhabitants of Istanbul are dating back to 2nd millennia BC. They were settled on the Asian side of the city. His first name comes from Megara King Baizas, who took his colonies here in the 7th century BC to establish a colony named Byzantium, the Greek name for a city on the Bosporus. Baisas chose this spot after consulting an oracle of Delphi, who told him to settle across from the land of the blind. Indeed, Baisas believed that earlier settlers must have been blind for overlooking this superb location at the entrance of the Bosporus Strait, only access to the Black Sea. In the 6th century BC, Persians ruled the city and then Alexander the Great took it over after 4th century BC, which was a peaceful period until the 2nd century BC. 
Between the 15th and 16th centuries, sultans built many mosques and public buildings, topping the population again around half million by the mid-1500s. Istanbul was a major cultural, political, and commercial center. The name Istanbul was derived from a combination of Islambol, city of Islam in Turkish, and AST in Poland to the city in Greek throughout the centuries. Istanbul has continued to expand dramatically. Today, its population is over 13 million and still increases constantly. It continues to be the commercial and cultural center of Turkey. Shanghai, the Museum City Shanghai, also known as the Global Financial Hub, is the largest city of China and also the most populous city in the world. It is the birthplace of China's cinema and boasts of numerous cultural attractions such as national as well as regional museum, diverse architecture, fascinating art galleries, cybatric restaurants and cafes, and a vibrant nightlife. Shanghai has a rich history that spans over 2,000 years. The first evidence of settlement that manifested in the area goes way back from the 5,000 BC. It was not, however, until around the 5th to 7th centuries that its development as an important fishing village started. The development of the fishing village situated in the area where the Hongpu River meets the Su Shu Creek was due to Shanghai's location. Being a city with economic stability, Shanghai's education system is considered one of the best in China. The fact that it was the first city in the country that used a 9-year mandatory education system shows the system's value for progress. There are more than 930 kindergarten schools, 1,200 primary schools, and 850 middle schools in the city. Over 30 of the country's top universities can be found in it. One major achievement of Shanghai's education system was being able to bug the top spot on a test conducted by Program for International Student Assessment in 2010. According to the results, students from Shanghai scored the highest all over the world in assessment tests in subject areas, math, reading, and science. So that's it for today, my friends. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all for your support. Hope you like our video for today. So if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever we post our new videos. Thank you all so much again and see you on our next videos. Bye for now.